and welcome back to your weekend edition of Summit Sunrise. And we're here in the studio with uh, our good friend Phil from the uh, Frisco Marina. Sounding pretty good. Uh, uh, it's got some things coming up this summer for sure. Yeah, we've got a lot of exciting events. Uh, this weekend we've got the, I think it's the fifth annual Cruiser Regatta. Oh, that's going to be a and great. That's, that's a blast. It's, it's the non-racers race. Sure. And we do a big round the reservoir type of race. And then we have the yacht club that's coming over to the Frisco side and we have a nice party. But the kicker on that is we're doing a live auction. We've got some really cool events that the public could come to if they wanted to bid on that. We've got a new Belgium bicycle and those you've seen around town, but they're pretty rare. But uh, New Belgium has graciously given us one to auction off. And that money goes to the Junior Olympics or for the Dillon Yacht Club Junior Sailing Club, who is hosting at the Frisco Bay Marina, the Junior Olympics. So we're hoping to have about 50 participants, late July, uh, seven different fleets. It's gonna be a really amazing event here at the world's highest yacht club. And, but that money is gonna help us uh, organize that event and pay for that event. But uh, that's at six o'clock tonight, if you wanna come by. And the food and drink is for the yacht club members, but the auction, if you wanna come in and bid on a, on a bike, you know, come on down. But that's at the Island Grill in the Lund House area, so it won't hurt you to come by and, and participate with those guys. Absolutely. And there's so many other uh, opportunities for people to get out on the lake. Of course, come down to the marina, you can, they can do all kinds of different activities. So. Yep, we got the canoes and kayaks. If you're out there and you want to do some paddling, uh, this morning it's just another <laughs> beautiful morning. Uh, the pontoons, they hold 11 people, and if you got a group of friends or family and you want to get out and do that, uh, the pontoons are great, or party barges as some people call them. Uh, we also have new runabouts this year. So our runabouts are brand new. They've got about oh, a week or two of use, so they're a lot of fun. And of course, we got uh, some fishing boats. So if you want to get out there early, we're open at 8 o'clock in the morning, get you out there. And the DOW, Division of Wildlife, has been putting a lot of fish in the reservoir. Uh, they've got a new strategy, and, and they're just putting in, well, they used to put in 60,000 and now they're looking at 300,000. So they're really trying to up the fishing and trying to make Dillon Reservoir a, a world-class brown trout fishing reservoir. So lots going on. Uh, if, you, if we're booked up, the water taxi is, is a great option. Uh, those guys are running back and forth from 11 to 5.30, 6 o'clock. Uh, give Captain Mike a phone call and uh, or give us a call and we'll give you the phone number. You can call Mike and see where his schedule, but he picks up and drops off between the Dillon Marina and the Frisco Bay Marina. So lots going on. Sounds great. And we know that uh, just, just in fact, with all those things going on, you guys have your work cut out for you, getting ready for the summer. Uh, just everything from, from dealing with uh, our dry conditions here in Summit yep. County, the water levels. Yeah, uh, it's been a, an interesting year. <laughs> we relocated the marina, the, the slips, the marina is where it is, but the slips that their customers would normally walk down and just walk right onto their boat, we had to relocate them out on the body of water and we have to shuttle them. And we're calling them dock islands. A little bit of an inconvenience, but people are still out there. We're, you know, we're pretty full. I understand the, you know, we're, we're all kind of frustrated that the water's gonna be going down, but uh, we're making the most of it. And I have to commend my staff for how much work they've done this year. Uh, getting ready for 4th of July, we're really Going to finish, we're going to go through this weekend, do a few more projects, and then the big holiday week, as I call it. A, a Wednesday, 4th of July, is about 10 days of, of great people coming up and visiting Summit County. And, and we want to open our arms and have them come up and spend a little money and, and make it all worthwhile. But uh, we'll be renting boats the rest of the year and really concentrating on that. Um, but uh, again, my staff has done great work and, and the town of Frisco. And if anybody went to the barbecue last week, that was an amazing event, and I know those guys were really tired after cleaning up after that. Did, so. you, did you get to go out to the barbecue? I did. Uh, I got out uh, Friday evening after work, and uh, Golden Toad, again, is one of my favorites. And, oh, yeah. But uh, there was some amazing barbecue, and, and everybody seemed to be well-behaved. I know, the, you know we invite all these people, and it's kind of a pre-4th of July kind of how many where are we going to park all these people and <laughs> there's a lot of logistics but we we love hosting the people and and having people come up and i know everybody's kind of wondering about fireworks uh last i heard some more information and data will be known by tuesday 
So right now, we're not sure, uh, but there's a lot of, uh, you know, the governor has said a few things, and the sheriff has to make some decisions, and the fire Absolutely. department. So it's, it's a tough call for, uh, for everybody, and, and we'll just, with or without the fireworks, we're still going to have a band that night, and uh, <clears throat> the Island Grill will be serving, and, and it'll just be a good time. Uh, the parade is going on, and, you know, it's just they have to make that decision, and, and we'll go with whatever they say. We all know Frisco is a great place to spend the 4th of July, any holiday weekend really, yeah. uh, in the summertime here in Summit County because it's, uh, you guys do a bang up job of just getting everything ready and, and plus well, all the all amenities the, you all offer. All the flowers on town on Main Street right now, the flowers, uh, you know, it was kind of a Michael Penny project and he really pushed the flowers and Chris Johnson at Public Works and those guys have done a, a and the flower attendance as we call them now <laughs> uh, have done a great job so the town town's looking good they're striping the, the sidewalk or striping the parking so we have a clear parking place and just keeping it clean and, and all the parks Walter Byron and you know the the FAP the bike parks going off so those guys there's a lot to do in Frisco yeah absolutely so when you uh, do check out Frisco you can always stop by the marina ch say hi to our good friend Phil over here uh, and the people of the town of Frisco and the and the Frisco Marina will take good care of you uh, if you're looking for a great weekend. But right now, we're going to take a quick break. So, Phil, thanks so much for being on the show with us this morning. Thank you. And uh, we'll be right back with a little more Summit Sunrise. Rock on.